Hi guys, welcome to the ISO Builder. There is a new update from Arclinks Tweet Tool and I'll make these small intermediary videos about what changed, what's new, because you get it in, right? Normally everything should be clear, but just pointing out what the new stuff is. In the desktop, you'll have a new button here, launch the Arclinks desktop treasure. So it's a fun thing to do is to install something on your system and then you have awesome installed but it's also a fun thing to get rid of it again if you don't like what you see you refresh current desktops maybe you have more than one and you say okay awesome needs to go and it's going to be trashed again so that's a, a quick link to both applications one is the wax on the other one is the wax off and just wait till this, this thing here comes uh, well back gray I guess and then it's finished if you want to really want to see what's going on you know how what to do Control alt T and launch it this way ATT or ADT and you see all the commands coming in because sometimes it takes a while right desktop removed option one it takes a while for the thing to kick in so that's a new thing a button to quickly launch it maybe we'll make it a bit smaller I don't know it's the functionality is more important than the layout at this point in time we also changed the config, um, the backups, right? We had lots and lots and lots and lots of files and folders and we were thinking, oh my God. Well, actually the idea came from someone on, I think it was Thomas on Telegram, right? And um, why not put everything in a folder, right? This is everything that's containing the Arclinx desktop treasure ADT. And this is everything, all the backups containing from the Arclinx tweet tool. So there's always a backup of your .config if somehow you made your own personal IT configuration it's there right you've changed something in the PyCam it's there and then it's only the matter of putting it back copy paste or maybe making things inside the personal right so there is a file with this is new this is not Linux not this pure article Linux nobody has a folder that's called personal but we do and here you can put your own dot files in this particular look is um, surfing icons Casablanca and this particular look has icons from Sarti not sorry um beautify line thing there I can quickly look up the name and then we know article like Scandi beauty that's the icon that we created a few weeks ago so it's already there just a typing the alias personal one in my case or personal two boom it's sent back so that's where you put your i3 configurations you immediately have it back but nevertheless backups 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 plenty of them and also log files this is maybe a uh, new few weeks ago right what else did i change grub is okay fixes need to still do something there so work in my head what ifs right this will change if you do not have the LightDM, the etc LightDM, LightDM.com, if you don't have that file, it will say uh, install LightDM and enable LightDM, right? It will pop something up. You can see the image in the Discord channel for the beta testers. But here it is installed, so you can actually set it. If I want to, I can actually do something there. Mirrors, that's old, new fetch, Pacman. Um, the old same SDDM changed a bit here this is also new that's true restart ATT for some reason if you want to reload the whatever you did to to the installation here while it's still open then we restart ATT or you refresh the list which is basically the same thing behind it and the rest is apply settings and all that maybe I should set my desktop as XFC right voila done and nothing changed here no themes gonna change things here zsh is also new apply bash right people see me having this thing and the last videos you saw me having um, a strange things that you won't see so pseudo pacman key i was showing and then dash dash tap this is nice, right? This is nice. If you want to learn, pseudo pacman minus, and then what? 
minus these database minus that test etc etc you can read s tab sb alternate database location skip dependency checks and so on and so on you can learn a lot from zsh and this auto well search or something no i don't know what it's called but this is great for learning how about queries what queries can i do well list package change log okay fine firefox let's see what this does never done this okay no change log available <laughs> all right but this is a great thing so maybe you want to go to zsh as well this is basically the same thing as to zsh right that's an alias and to bash back to bash right this is now me being on zsh and if i type to bash i'll get back after login well logout login or reboot and logout first if you switch shell logout first and sometimes you mess things up it's always good to have the button to reset your zsh rc and colors right i like my random colors but i think there's one i really really like not sure if it's in there i thought it was jonathan or something like that jonathan let's have a look so Control t that's the one i like with the line and all the colors and then it's fixed every single time Control t Control t Control t will have the same look so that's what's changed and like i said still much more in my head but hey time right cheers